in Friday night, in Shabbat evening, when you do Kiddush? What's your intentions? So I answered to him, to do Kiddush. What, is, what are your intentions? Another person will do Kiddush because he wants to be religious. Another one will do Kiddush because he wants his children to sit and, 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 and around the table. Another one will do Kiddush because he doesn't want people to say that he's not doing Kiddush. Everyone can have his reasons to do Kiddush. One, because he wants to eat and you cannot eat without Kiddush. But Hashem Barach gave you that gift. What it means to do Kiddush in the eve of Shabbat? What it means to do Kiddush? So the verses are telling us that when you are mentioning the verses, the, the words, when you're saying the verses that are describing the completion of the creation, that Hashem completed creating the world, when you are saying those words with Hashem in the seventh day, so then you help Hashem really to complete His creation. And by doing that, you are completing the creation. You're creating the world in a way. So you can do the Kiddush with the intention that Hashem said that that is the reason why you need to do Kiddush. And not because you're not allowed to eat without Kiddush. It's true. Chachamim told us that we're not allowed to eat without saying Kiddush because they want us to say Kiddush. Because they know we're going to eat, so they stopped us from eating. Because first of all, we want to say Kiddush. But what is the Kiddush? It's not what that is holding you back from eating. It's your ability to be the right hand of the Creator, to complete the creation, and to uplift the creation to the world to come. To the Shabbat, to the seventh day, to day of rest. To bring everyone to complete tshuva. Veshavta ad Hashem elokecha. To come back till Hashem. To see Hashem face to face. To rest with Hashem. To enjoy with Hashem. Vekarata la Shabbat oneg. To enjoy the divine pleasure of the seventh day. That all of the world will enjoy it. Not only you. But for that you need to have the right intention. The right intention is not something that is behind the highest mountains or the, across the big, the large sea. It's just a temporary world that in this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator, to remember that it's all He, never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those husks. husks.